What's that over there? Oh, you're alive. And if I could just hit you. There we go. There we go. I'll just harvest you. Got some more bush meat. What's over here? It's a dead hare. Been partially eaten, so... You don't get that much. It's basically easy resources, but... You know, it doesn't give much. Might as well take these blueberries. Okay, we should probably head back. I don't want to go too far away from base. We'll pass through here. Probably should take as many sticks as possible. Okay, you're still alive. Okay, so we're getting lots of blueberries. Got some meat. Now I should probably look for some, uh, what's it called? The, some kind of fuel on the ground. It's like dirt. Um, I forget what it's called, but I want to get some of that. Oh, no. I'll just avoid you. We should have a lot of food now. At least for the time being. So, let's just stow this food here. And then, we need to collect some more clay. Let's take this meat. Because we do need lots of meat. And then, stow all the... Actually, let's take the cranberry with us. And the rye. What else do I need to stow? I think that's it. Okay, so there is a shaft there. That goes way down. Like, we can explore that eventually. And... Oh, wait. I heard something. The fuck was that? I heard growling. Fucking hell. I swear, I heard growling. Like, I really have to be careful here. That's falling damage. That's a sheep. Oh, it's down here. It looks like he's stuck. Okay, so we're good. Can't chase us. Now, there was clay here. Yeah, there's the clay. There's actually a lot of clay here. I'm gonna double check this area, see if there's anything else for us. Okay, this goes into the gravel area. 
keys. So we don't need any more stone for the time being. And might as well take these. I might as well eat the meat. Yeah, th so there was Terra Petra around here somewhere. I forget where though. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, so we're taking that later. And I think that's all the resources around here. Let's just quickly get some clay just so we can continue making stuff. Clay deposit was over here. Yeah, it's right here. And then we'll just make stuff during the night. Oh, we also need to make some kind of doorway, right? Guess we can just block it off with the the wood that we have in our inventory. Oh, that should be good enough. Let's go. Be very careful not to fall into the holes. And our house is right there. Now let's just put these corners here. Because those drifters are just going to try to break into the house through these corners and I don't want to see them so... There we go. I should also mention these torches can also burn out if left like that for a while. So anyway... Go and make stuff. We do need cooking pot. Oh, there are wolves nearby. Or more wolves. So we need to take those guys out. Or is that the wolf that was stuck in the cave from earlier? probably should take him out if only to get him to shut up okay so we'll put this here and then we'll fry that off Okay, what else do we need? We Oh, we should also get some bowls. And we're going to need these. Oh, I heard that. Like that's some dirt that's like falling down. I don't know, something triggered that. Oh, here we go. The drifter's like... The wall's like... Yeah, he's like right there. Alright, let's fire this up. And we also need... The... Crocs. This is where we store food. 
We can also seal the crocs to, for like food preservation. We just need four of these for the time being. Then we'll duplicate layer, make it so much easier to make this. I'll just fill this in with the three by three. And then we'll fire these up as well. Then put on the handle for the lid, and there we go. Now let's fire up all of these. And we still have one more crock pot we need to deal with. Okay, what else do we need to make? Okay, we will need a crucible. It's for smelting. So once we start getting enough copper, we can smelt that into like copper pickaxes, copper hammers, you know, stuff like that. Okay, this thing is easy to make. Okay, you still have to smelt that. Oh, hang on. You know what? I think you're done. And then we'll put down this croc. Maybe like... You know what? Let's make a shelf. Better to use a wooden shelf because you can fit four of those crocs on here, but since we don't have that yet... Like, this will have to do for the time being. Requires a solid ground. Oh, shit. Alright, then. Just leave you here. I guess we can clear this out. Since we can't put you on here. and put in the crucible. Okay, that's two, three. Okay, that's still being fired up. What else do we need? Uh, let's see here. You know what? Let's make more storage vessels. Like, we got nothing better to do until daylight. Let's try to be as productive as possible. This is tedious anyway, so might as well get, just get this out of the way. Alright, we are now on day three. Wait, why am I doing this? <laughs> Duplicate layer. Like, what was I thinking? We can get this done immediately. Let's make two more of these things. Should have enough firewood for all of it. 
or two of them. Uh, let me double check this. You know, let's keep this thing going. All right, let's go back to doing this. Start forming the rim here, and then we'll do one more after this. You know what? We should also get a meal going. We do have lots of grains, so we can make some oatmeal. Okay, get rid of this crock. Put this in here. And where's our pot? I'll put you here. Let's get some rye and some blueberries. There we go. And we'll cook this out. Now let's put this back in here. And we'll make one more storage vessel. Now I do want lots of these storage vessels because at this point in time we don't have access to storage chests. So I do want the inventory space that these things give me. Like, I don't want to build any more of those baskets because they only hold 8 things. And storage vessels store 12 and then the storage chests that we build later on once we get the copper saw, those store 16. this rim right here and that should be enough storage vessels for now eventually we'll use them to store like the different food groups like the uh, grains and meats vegetables and fruits and then we'll be putting them in a cellar that we'll be building later on and that actually makes food last even longer All right, there we go. And there's my food. Now, do I have bowls? Yes. Here we go, bowl. We have rice porridge with mashed blueberries. This gives me 48, 480 saturation for grains and 240 for fruit. Yeah, it gives me quite a bit. Then we also need to eat the bush meat. Oh, this is about to expire, so we should probably cook this meat. And we could also put it in a meal, but I think it would be better to cook this like right now as is. Oh, yeah, and I also forgot, let's turn these sticks into torches. And we need more firewood. We need an axe. Put this down first. Not like that. There we go. Okay, we do need another axe. Let's just make one. They're really getting hungry out there. Okay, cut this into firewood. And 
and it is what the hell game You're not showing me the time interesting oh there you go okay so it's three o'clock so one more hour before the sun rises okay what else can we make oh here's another storage vessel so we have four of these now put you over here Now I should also put this in here. There we go. Now this is ready to use and did I not light this on fire? Apparently not. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Okay, so we're good for the next day. Should probably put this down. Put you down like right over here. Now the crock pot. This over here. And we don't really need that many bowls. We'll put you here. Somehow I have a block of low fertility soil. That's okay though. So all of these will all of these fruits will last for one day. What else can I make? Okay, we do need this eventually. So make a pickaxe mold. Make that like so. Then carve out this part. Then we'll fire it up. Because we do need this eventually. So I might as well make it now. While we're waiting for the sun to come up. And then... Do we have enough clay? Well, let's try this anyway. We do need a hammer mold. So in order for us to advance to the copper age, we need two things. We need a pickaxe and a hammer. The pickaxe is what we use to mine and the hammer smashes the bits that we mine into something that we can smelt and since I'm out of clay no I'm not so never mind we'll just continue doing this and there we go and we just continue doing that it will stow this for now Okay, we'll bring the bush meat with us. You know what? We'll just let this cook out and then we'll go outside. Where is it? Oh, let's stow the clay first. What else can we stow? I think that's it. Alright, so get this axe out. Let's open up this door. Here we go. Come here. Damn you. There we go. And what are you going to give me? Nothing. Oh shit. Come here. All right, let's cut this guy up. Nothing. 
You guys are giving me nothing. Alright, let's start chopping down trees. You know what, let's go with the ones nearby. So today I'm going to be uh, making a charcoal pit. Because the problem with our existing firewood is it only burns up to 700 degrees. And in order to smelt copper, we need to smelt up to 1084, I believe. Like a very high temperature. So we need the charcoal because it burns at 1300 degrees. So we're going to cut down as many trees as we possibly can. Is it just me or is my frame rate going down? Oh, I should turn this down. Glorious. Or ultra high. Yes, give me back my frame rate. Okay, so I have to use ultra high. Like, I don't want those lag spikes. Let's get rid of this. Alright, let's continue chopping down trees. Now there is quartz on the ground. Quartz is used to make glass. I'm probably going to need this space anyway, so I might as well just clear out the trees here for firewood. And I don't have enough firewood just yet, or I don't have enough trees just yet. So this is going to take a while. I probably should take out that wolf, because he's just going to keep howling. You know what, I'll take the resin. Like, we're going to need that later, but I think we should start working on, like, armor and stuff like that. The wood armor that the resin needs. Alright. One more tree and this should break. Well, it broke now. It didn't even finish cutting down a tree. Alright, let's make another axe. And I really want that wolf to shut up. Okay, so after we make the charcoal pit, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna kill that wolf. Come on. All right, let's cut this down now. There we go. Where do I build the charcoal pit? 